In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take content from an Inspire flip chart and move that content into a Google presentation. So in order to do this, you need to have uh, your Google Drive open because I'm going to open a presentation. And then you're also going to want to have open Active Inspire. So those are kind of the two big things that you want to have open. I'm using sp split screens. And if you want to watch my split screen video, um, you may do that at a later time. It's on my YouTube channel. All right, so I'm in Google Drive. I'm going to want to create a presentation with Google Slides. So I will click on the new button. You might create a folder for your lessons. That's totally up to you, but I'm just gonna go straight down to Google Slides and I'm gonna start a blank presentation. <laughs> All right, um, typically what I will do is I will delete that first default slide because it has a text box in it. And I'm also gonna close the themes. Um, I don't want the text boxes because I'm going to be dragging into that particular page a, an image that is an exported image from my Active Inspire flip chart. So um, I don't want that page. So what I really want is if I add a new slide, I want blank slides. And so I can take this one, I can hit the delete key on my keyboard, now I have a blank slide. All right, so that's what you do to prepare in Google Slides. Now, what about getting the images out of your flip chart? So now I'm over in Active Inspire. I'm gonna open um, my flip chart and it's sitting on my desktop. So I'm gonna click File, Open. You can also double click on it to open it. Either way, whatever you like to do, you just need to find it on your computer and I have it right here, so I click open. Um, if you have your page browser open, you can see all of your different pages. What I wanna do is I wanna export those pages. Looks like I have a blank one, so maybe I'll get rid of that one before I export. I wanna export these as images that I can drag and drop into my uh, Google presentation. Now, I think this is easier if you, all these images, because you're gonna have one image per page. So in this case, there are 10 pages. So I'm gonna have 10 images. I think I'm gonna go on my desktop and I'm just gonna create a temporary folder that I'll delete when I'm done to put those images in, those 10 images. So I'm gonna go to my desktop. When you click on your desktop, it should say Finder up in the upper left-hand corner. I'm gonna click File, New Folder, and I'm going to name this my flip chart images. You can name it whatever you want, mm -hmm. but I, I'm gonna drag it here in the middle so that you can see it, okay? That's where I'm gonna put the images. So now I'm gonna go File, Export, and I'm gonna export all my pages to, and this is a file type, which is an image, and that's what I wanna choose, .jpg. And now it's asking me, well, where do you wanna put it? Well, I wanna put it in that folder that I created on the desktop. So I'm gonna click on desktop on my left-hand side. I'm gonna find that folder, it's called flip chart images. If you have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff on your desktop and it's hard to find that folder, I recommend that you click on the sort button and sort by like date last opened or date added and then it'll probably be at the top like it is in my um, situation here. So I'm going to choose that folder and now this is just kind of happening in the background. So if I were to go back here to my desktop and look at this, now in, if I go inside the folder, lo and behold I have 10 images. They're labeled in order which is really nice and if I go to a preview, by the way if you need to see a preview of a file on a Macintosh, single click on it, click on your space bar, and that opens a quick preview and then you can click on your spacebar to close it. Spacebar open, spacebar close. More than likely you're not going to see weird cutoff of text here. The reason why you see it on mine is because this is not actually my flip chart. It's one I got from another teacher and I think the font on their computer um, does not exist on my computer. So when I opened it in um, Active Inspire, the fonts didn't um, translate. I probably could come back and you know click on each of these text boxes and it would export just fine but that's probably not going to happen to you. Alright so that's how you export your pages as images.
Now you gotta bring those into your presentation. Don't forget to name your presentation. So um, let's go back here. That's called Sign Maker's Assistant. So I could go up to my title and Sign Maker's Assistant. I recommend that you have spaces between your words because then if you go in Google Drive and you wanna search for this lesson, you can search by any term in the title of your lesson. So don't, um, don't neglect the spaces between the words in the lesson title. All right, so now what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to drag and drop those slides into my presentation. So I'm gonna make my window, by dragging the lower right-hand corner, I'm gonna make my window more narrow. And then I gotta open this folder. Oops, and that's over on my other desktop, but that's probably not gonna to happen to you. All right, so I'm gonna make this narrow. And so these things can be side by side, just like that. All right, so I got my folder open here. I got my presentation open over here. So I take that first image, I'm gonna, oops, and I'm gonna drag and drop it onto my page. And then maybe I'll move it so it's right in the center. Then I'm gonna add another blank page. And I'm gonna go to my second image. And I'm gonna drag and drop it on my page. I'm gonna move it into here. And then um, if the last thing I chose was a blank page, you can just click on the plus sign and it will pick the layout that you used before. So here I'm gonna open my third page and move it over. Now, the one thing you need to keep in mind is that these are static images. So if when you were using this in Inspire, you were used to dragging or dropping any of the objects on the page, once you go in to present in Google Slides, um, there we go. So um, yeah, so that if you click on the screen, you'll go to the next page, but um, you're not gonna be able to drag and drop objects like you did in Active Inspire. All right, so to review what we did is you open your flip chart in Active Inspire and you export the pages as images. So there'll be the same number of images as there are pages. And typically I recommend that you put those into a folder so they're all kind of together someplace. Once you have um, them in a folder, exported images, then you drag and drop them into your presentation.